Alright, in this video we're going to do one more example of solving a trig equation by using the quadratic formula. So here we're going to solve 1 tangent squared x plus 3 tangent x minus 1 equals 0. And uh, again, you could try factoring this, that would be my first inclination, but uh, again, I think you can uh, check and make sure that it's not going to factor. So again, normally we have x equals negative b plus or minus, all that stuff, but instead of just x, now we're going to use tangent x. So we've got tangent of x equals negative our b value, which is just going to be the positive 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2 times a. So now we've got to simplify this down a little bit. So um, we've got negative 3 plus or minus the square root. Uh, let's see, 3 squared is 9. We've got negative 4 and negative 1, so that'll be positive 4. So 9 plus 4 will be 13, all over 2. So we've got tangent x uh, equals negative 3 plus or minus root 13 over 2. And again, we were going to just find solutions in 0 to 2 pi. So um, two things, let's, uh, let's set up the two equations. So we've got tangent of x equals negative 3 plus the square root of 13 over 2. And then we have tangent of x equals uh, negative 3 minus the square root of 13 over 2. And now maybe let's start approximating here a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to simplify down the square root of 13. So let's see. Um, so this is going to be roughly equal to negative 3 plus um, the square root of 13 is 3.606 after I round over 2. Uh, so let's see. That'll give us, so negative 3 plus 3.606 will leave us with just 0 0.606 over 2. And if we divide again, that'll give us 0 0.303. So we've got tangent x equals 0 0.303. Uh, that's one equation we'll have to solve. And then for our second equation, we've got tangent x equals negative 3. Well, now it'll be minus 3.606 all over 2. So that's negative 6.606 over 2. And again, if we uh, grind that down a little bit, we'll get tangent x equals negative 3.303. All right, so we've got our two solutions here. Um, maybe we can do them both in uh, radians and degrees. So I'm going to do tangent x equals uh, 0.303. Let's do that one first. And maybe we can do it in degrees originally. So we'll get tangent, we have tangent x equals, so tangent x equals 0 0.303. Again, to simply solve for x, we'll just take the inverse tangent of both sides. So inverse tangent of 0 0.303. We'll just be left with x on the left. And let's see here. Uh, so now I'm busting up my calculator, 0 0.303. Uh, this is in degrees. We're going to do inverse tangent. I'm getting this to be roughly equal to 16 point, we'll say 8. Uh, let's just round to two decimal places. 16.86 degrees is what I'm getting. Okay, so that's going to be one of our solutions here. And recall at 16.86 degrees, that would be an angle in the first quadrant. Well, since we're doing a 0 to 2 pi, the next place where tangent would be positive would be in quadrant 3. So there we would simply have to take 180 degrees and add to that our 16.86 degrees to get our solution that falls in quadrant 3. And that would give us what? I guess uh, 196.86 degrees. So those would be our two uh, solutions uh, in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. 
We can also maybe go ahead and do this in radians as well, just to see that answer. So let's see, if we do arctangent of 0 0.303, but now I'm doing it in radians. Equivalently, I'm getting that x equals 0 0.29, uh, so we only rounded to two decimal places, 0.29 radians. So that'll be our uh, equivalent solution in uh, radians, so 16.86 degrees or 0.29 radians. Likewise, to get our second solution, since we're in quadrant 3, we would simply take pi radians and add to that 0.29 radians. So that would be our second solution um, in radians. So our degree solution and our radian solution. But again, this is only for our first part. So there's our, uh, you know, our two solutions for the first equation, depending on what form you want. So let's also go back and uh, we'll simplify the other one as well. I think we had to simplify or evaluate tangent x equals negative 0 0.303. So the same way, if we take inverse tangent of both sides, we'll get x equals inverse tangent of negative 3.303. And again, I think I'm going to do it in degrees first. So let's see, we've got uh, 3.303, uh, the negative of that, and then I'm going to have to hit my inverse tangent. Let's see, so I'm getting this to be roughly equal to uh, let's see, negative 73.16 degrees. Now, we have to be careful, because uh, remember, by definition, inverse tangent gives you solutions between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. Well, uh, we want solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So we found a solution down here, negative 73.16 degrees, but that, that's not going to fall in the interval 0 to 2 pi, or equivalently in the interval 0 to 360 degrees. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the equivalent solutions that do work. Okay, so our reference angle here would be just 73.16 degrees. One way to get one of our solutions is simply to add 360 degrees to this. That'll give us our solution that falls in quadrant 4. So let's see, if we do 360 and subtract away 73.16 degrees, that's going to give us 286.84 degrees. So that would be the equivalent angle in quadrant 4 that works. And that's certainly between 0 and 360 degrees. So that would be one of our solutions. Uh, our other solution would be up here in quadrant 2. Again, since tangent there will be negative. So our reference angle is 73.16 degrees. So our, our second solution, we would have to take 180 degrees, and then we'll have to subtract away the 73.16 degrees. So I'm getting this simply to be uh, 106.84 degrees. Okay, so those would be our solutions in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4 that works. Again, using, um, using degrees. Let's do the same thing, though, and let's figure out our solutions in radians as well, since that's kind of what it was originally. Since, since the interval is 0 to 2 pi, that to me kind of says, hey, you know, we're thinking about radians, so let's use ra radians. I like to do degrees somehow, you know, degrees are just more intuitive to me. I can already see what quadrant they're in. Okay, so we've got negative 3.303. I'm going to take the inverse tangent of that. I've got it in radian mode. I'm getting this to be negative 1 point, we'll say 2, 8 radians after rounding. But again, that's going to be my angle. Uh, that's again going to fall in quadrant 4. Um, but the problem is it's outside of this interval of 0 to 2 pi radians. So one way we can get again our solution is we'll take our negative 1.28 radians and we'll simply add 2 pi. So that'll be one of our solutions. Just like before we had to add 360 degrees, one revolution. Well now we're adding 2 pi radians which would be one revolution. Our other solution again 
uh, our reference angle, instead of being 73.16 degrees, equivalently we could think about that uh, angle as being 1.28 radians. Well, halfway around the unit circle would be pi radians, but we'd have to backtrack a little bit, this 1.2 radians. So to me, that would be our other solution in radians. So our two solutions in degrees, and here would be our two solutions in radians. So again, a little bit of work for sure when you're solving these using uh, the quadratic formula. Again, be careful with your inverse, you know, when you're evaluating inverse tangent. Um, inverse sine, uh, because those are always going to give you angles between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So there's definitely more solutions than just the one that the calculator spits out. And even then, you know, even though this is a correct solution, it didn't fall uh, in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So even, even if you get a, a value that is correct, you may have to start, you know, uh, changing it a little bit just to make sure that it does fall, in fact, in the right interval.